What I would say would not be very ladylike is to go out in your slip or to wear your slip as a dress. This is something I would say is an absolute no. Hello ladies and welcome back. Today I wanted to talk to you all about a ladylike lesson that I find very important, which is to always wear a slip with a dress. This is something that I have learned growing up and I know many of you have as well, but instead of just listing a wide variety of different things about what makes us more ladylike, I wanted to really hone in on one thing at a time. So today the subject matter is going to be why it's important to wear a slip with a dress and then I would love your guys' feedback in the comments below as to why it's important for you to wear a slip if I don't mention any of those reasons. That way all of us can learn even more. This is something that I feel we are constantly growing in and learning about and um, different things that other people may think on, those things maybe we haven't thought about yet. And then also let me know what other subject matter you would like me to cover in this series as far as ladylike lessons. A lot of you may feel that that is something that is so outdated, is wearing a slip with a dress. And I know that um, I, for a long time maybe I didn't, especially in my early teens going into my 20s, I did not do that. They were also not as popular around that time. I don't remember seeing them all over the place. And even now, I feel like all I really see are the really skin tight slips that you would wear underneath a very skin tight dress. Um, I found I found some loose ones, but none of them are very beautiful, and that's something that I think a lot of women put the effort into back many years ago as far as what they would be wearing underneath a dress. So if you are going to put on a beautiful dress, wouldn't it just make sense? to feel beautiful with whatever undergarments you're wearing as well. And that's why a lot of these things have the kind of detail that they do. So our underwear has lace detailing, our nylons have detailing on them, and these are things that just make you feel a little bit more beautiful or a little bit more glamorous. I want to get into the main reasons as to why it's important to wear a slip, but I also wanted to start off with what is so fun about wearing a slip in general. You will not find at your common store, whether it's Target or Kohl's or Walmart, you will not find beautiful slips. This is just something that I think for a long time now, women haven't really been wearing them or there just hasn't been much interest. Maybe they haven't sold a lot of them. So companies started to cut back on making these and especially putting the detail into them that they want at one point has. I have been searching vintage slips for a while and I have gained quite the collection and so it's something that I love because a lot of my dresses are cut differently and so it's important to have to pair the right slip with the right dress and whether you're talking about color or the length of a dress or anything along those lines you want to make sure that the slip is cut properly for the dress that you're wearing. So you have full body slips and it's called a full slip or you have the half slips which are just the ones that come to the waist. Um, when I was a little girl I remember having um, a really beautiful slip that already had the frilly underlay and it was just so fun as a little girl to wear that. And you just wonder, why have we gotten so far away from what's fun to wear? What makes us feel beautiful in wearing something? And I think that especially when taking off your dress at night and you can walk around your room in it and still have um, your skin covered. And a lot of the time you can also just wear it right to bed if you wanted to you know, slip into bed. I would really encourage you to just search vintage slips and see the detail on the bottom and see the detail on the top 
and how beautiful these would be even if nobody else knew that you were wearing one. However, you don't want people to know about your undergarments. As a lady, you want to be very discreet about that. And so one of the ways that you can do that is by wearing a slip. It is another barrier between your undergarments and the dress that you're wearing. Especially when you're wearing something a little bit more thin. I know a lot of the fabrics these days are very thin and while they do have linings under them, so this is considered a lining and the lining is actually showing and a lot of the time when we have chiffon shirts, they're very see-through and so you definitely want to wear an, an, a liner underneath and so that's what these are for. A lot of the dresses come with them already and so because of that, a lot of people have thought that, well, this means that slips are, there's no use for a slip anymore. I would beg to differ with that. And I can tell you from being in bright light with the sun shining behind you, even something that looks as solid as this, I know that there would still be light being able to penetrate through the dress, the skirt itself, and you would be able to see the outline of my legs. And so that's another reason for me why it's so important to have that other barrier so you can't see that. Because the clothing is on us, unless somebody tells us that they can see something, a lot of the time we don't know. And so this is a really great way to make sure that you do not have those fashion faux pas of the sun beating through your dress and you being exposed in that way. And an example that I will use in this is Duchess of Cambridge. She was wearing a beautiful dress. However, what detracted from the beauty of the dress was the fact that the sun was shining through it and it was so thin that you could see the shadows of her legs through it. And this is something that immediately catches someone's eye. And while if you're out in public and you notice that someone that you can see this on someone, I would never just shout it out in front of everybody that, oh, you can, you know, do you know that you can see right through your dress? That's something more that we would speak to that person directly about. However, I am mentioning this because it's something that was publicized and it's something that I know many of us look to Kate for inspiration with the way that she dresses. Her style is so beautiful. It's something that I would say is really my style. However, do I have the money to be able to have the seamstress or you know, be able to buy a lot of the things that she does? Of course not. However, the styles that she wears are just gorgeous. And one of the things that is important even for the Duchess of Cambridge is to make sure to wear a slip and that goes for all of us because we don't know we're we're in the dress and we can't exactly see what all is going on so that is one extra way for protection and getting into the protection of it what about those windy days now something that I like to do if I'm wearing an A-line dress I don't necessarily feel the need to wear an A-line slip but if I wore more of a sheath style slit, not really tight, but just more form fitting, I know that in a windy day, that slip is not going to blow up yet. How many times has your skirt or your dress blown up in a windy day? And so this just offers you a little bit more protection, a little bit more modesty if something like that were to occur. And this is something that I would prefer myself over slip shorts, something along those lines, because I just love the feeling of the breeziness of wearing a dress. And I personally don't want to wear shorts under my dress, even though I know a lot of people do. I think that it's a great idea to, but one of the reasons why I love wearing dresses so much is because I don't feel the, I don't want to wear shorts. I don't like the feeling of it, I would say. So that's another reason why it's so important for me to wear a slip. But they do have slip shorts, ones that are skin tight, kind of like biker shorts, but they are colored to your skin or they have white ones. I think they have some in all different colors. Now let's talk about what it does for your clothing. So when you wear a slip, this really smooths everything out. 
the way that your clothes hang, you want your clothes to hang beautifully. And if you are wearing a slip, I prefer the nylon slips myself or silk. It doesn't um, cause a lot of creasing and especially when we're talking about backsides. I don't know if many of you notice, but especially with the jersey material or just different materials, they can really ride up in a person's rear. And if you've ever been behind someone or someone was sitting down and then they stand up, a lot of us have noticed these things or we struggle with it ourselves and making sure that um, you know we remain modest and keeping everything where it's supposed to be. And this is one way that you can ensure that your dress stays where it should be is by wearing a slip that encourages your clothing to hang properly and not stick to your skin. It also helps clothes to last longer. And the reason being is because it's another barrier between your skin and the clothes themselves. We tend to sweat or we just have body oils or dead skin cells. So if we're wearing a slip, this is one more way to keep your clothing clean. And so this is something I would highly recommend for that purpose. All right, we talked about why it's important to wear a slip. I wanna to talk to you about how to style a slip, really, and different views about this. So I've, in my research of what's okay when we're talking about slips, what's okay to show? Is it okay to show anything? Or is it all supposed to be concealed just like you would try to conceal your underwear? And I think that there are mixed views about this. And especially when you're talking about from way back in the day when they wore the slips to, or the petticoats to make sure that there was that barrier between their undergarments and their clothing, and it just offered more modesty that they oftentimes had cotton shirts that were thinner and you could see the detailing of their petticoat through the, the top itself. Now, the skirts, of course, were a lot of the time they were, they were much thicker and so you wouldn't be able to see through them. However, um, it was something that really acted as a way to make their dress more comfortable, especially if you're talking about wool or uh, tweeds, it can be uncomfortable. And especially if something doesn't have a lining, so they would wear a slip so that the dress was comfortable. So getting back into what's appropriate to see when we're talking about a slip. So if this, for instance, this dress right here is a, it's a sheer dress, it's um, chiffon, and then I have this lining underneath, which looks like a slip, it's not detailed in any way, it's just a spaghetti strap slip, and um, this is what I would say, I would only want this to show. I wouldn't really want to layer a slip underneath to where you would see multiple, um, you know, multiple lines. And so that's why I probably wouldn't wear a full slip with a dress like this. However, I would wear a half slip with this, especially because it's important to me to make sure that even through the sun, you wouldn't be able to see through my legs. And so I would of course wear a half slip with this and because the dress is so long, I do have a longer slip if I want to, but also one that is just above the knee I think is fine because that's the area that I'm most concerned with about not being able to see through. Something that I've been asked quite frequently has been, what kind of camisole can you wear underneath a sheer top? and something that isn't skin tight because I know a lot of the camis that are out there right now, they're tight and if you wear them with a skirt, it tends to ride up. You're constantly trying to adjust yourself, especially with the fabrics that it's made out of. So one of the things that I had been looking into was more of a cami that was a loose fitting cami because I felt like that offered the kind of look that I was going for. However, when I wear more of the um, the sheer tops that I want to tuck in. It does work, but it's not exactly the look that I'm still going for because I feel that it adds a little bit of bulk around the midsection, especially where it ends, and it doesn't always stay in place. So something that I would suggest 
is to wear a slip as your camisole. This is something that is beautiful. A lot of people have been looking for lace camisoles, something that has a beautiful um, lace detailing around the neckline and also around the straps. This is something that I have been on the lookout for as well. I just love a lace cami because I feel that it offers a lot more modesty. If you're talking about something that's very low cut, you can just wear a cami underneath that has the beautiful lace detailing on it. I wouldn't necessarily say it would be a good idea to wear a slip that is going to show all of this. I don't think that um, I would do that personally. However, I feel that it's very much appropriate to wear a sheer top that has a neckline that is very modest to me and to be able to wear a slip underneath, even if it's something that you would be able to see through too, because at least you're not seeing my undergarments. And then it has the beautiful lace detailing on it and then it offers that sense of modesty and it goes all the way down so I'm not worried about the lines of wearing that cami underneath my skirt and it just helps everything to lay beautifully if that makes any sense. So this is something that I have been doing more recently, although I did look things up. I've talked to my mom, I've talked to some other ladies about it, about what would be appropriate in that regard. And I feel that it's very appropriate to even be able to see the lace detailing of a slip, I think is fine through something that is sheer, but not really sheer. What I would say would not be very ladylike is to go out in your slip or to wear your slip as a dress. This is something I would say is an absolute no. However, I know with fashion these days, a lot of the time you will see that. And it's, I don't know, I just, to me, I feel that it's a tacky look. I feel like you're trying to draw attention to that and to make it look like you're wearing your underwear or something that is more private on top of your clothing. But um, that's just something that I personally would stay away from and I wouldn't say would be very ladylike. Now let's get into the length of the slips and what should be showing underneath. Now more recently I've seen, especially in one of the stores that I just love, which is Down East, they have these things called slip extenders and they look a lot like a slip. However, they have um, crochet bottoms. Um, it's not as thin as lace. And that's something that you're supposed to be able to wear with a shorter skirt so that it lengthens the skirt. And then I've also noticed with even my girls' dresses, there are dresses that they have that have the lace hanging out of the bottom. So it almost looks as if they have a slip coming out of the bottom of their dress, but it's their, it's part of the dress itself. So sometimes I've seen that people think that it's very appropriate to have the lace of your slip showing, but I, I don't know. There, to me, it's kind of a fine line. I don't know exactly. I'd really have to see it to see if it, it looked okay. Um, personally, I would say it's best to have the slip not showing. However, if the slip peeks through sometimes, sometimes that's more of a mysterious thing. Um, it's more of something that someone would feel is more ladylike than if their bra was showing or if their bra straps were showing, things along those lines. So I think it's up to each individual person, but personally I would say keep your slips hidden, um, you know, the line of your slip. However, sometimes they can if you're trying to make your dress more modest. Sometimes that layer of the slip is what helps that. So for instance, I have a blue dress that I like to wear. It's a v-neck dress and one of the things that I find a problem with is that it hangs down low, especially when I bend over. And so the slip itself is lace up here and um, when I bend over, you can see it, but it's the same color as the dress. So it's not something that stands out to you. And it's just the lace 
lining, I would say, the lace um, edging. And it's something that almost looks like it's part of the dress. So if you're going to want to use a slip for modesty purposes, make sure you match it with the dress or that you coordinate it in some way to where it looks like it's part of the dress itself. And so I know that that helped me with that dress so much and um, it is shorter than the dress itself so it doesn't stick out. However, if for some reason my dress went up a little bit and you could see the lace peeking through, that wouldn't be such a big deal. I would much rather have that happen than my underwear showing. I really hope that this is helpful for you. Don't forget about the glam factor and how it makes you feel just to wear one and knowing that you know you feel beautiful underneath and knowing that you can have a collection of something that's just as beautiful as those dresses that you put on. So where would we find these beautiful vintage slips? Well, something that has been my best friend when finding slips has been Poshmark. This is a place that I love to shop through, especially with vintage slips because I can see what I'm getting. I can try to haggle the price with someone if I feel that their price is a little out of my price range. And it's just been so nice to build up my collection of slips at a fraction of the price that they would be uh, brand new. I've just seen the stuff that has been, you know, from years ago. And so I have vintage slips because of this, because other people are selling them. It's a really great way to build up your collection of something that you want to make sure helps you with modesty, but also helps you feel beautiful. So I hope with after discussing this, you ladies will feel more apt to purchasing a slip or making sure that you dig that slip out of your slip drawer that you've been tucking away and just feel that there's absolutely no need for. There is definitely a need for a slip when you wear a dress. And don't forget how beautiful it makes you feel and how feminine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment below letting me know what other areas you would like me to cover in these ladylike lessons. And until next time, I hope that you all take care and we will talk soon. Bye everyone.